Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2023 Ford Bronco. So this video here, we're working our way through our complete guide videos. We've talked about the Bronco base, Big Ben, and Black Diamond. This video, we're going to focus on the Outer Banks trim, going to cover all the standard equipment, plus the different packages available and your standalone options all in this one video uh, here. So this will hopefully help you out, uh, give me some information. If you have a 22, you're converting over to a 23, or you're waiting for that 23 order bank to open up, we can give some idea of exactly how you can build this out if you're wanting an Outer Banks trim. Um, and maybe these videos are going to help you figure out which trim is best for your uh, what your wants and needs are for bronco so we'll cover all the different components about this now if you like videos like this you might want to subscribe to our youtube channel hit the red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe over to the channel hit the notification bell that way you can stay notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our youtube channel and don't forget to uh on this here we do have timestamps down below for all these different sections of this video so you can move around in this video some of this stuff might be a little repetitive uh, especially when it comes to like some of the safety features and such so you can actually move around if you need to to go over certain uh, things if you know some of these packages are the same as they were for last and the last video you watched you can skip over some of them and go to those so use those timestamps down below as we move through this video and don't forget if you're looking to find a good dealership that's gonna uh, wants to uh, honor msrp pricing we're our dealer that can do that we'll have to talk more about that at the end of the video as well as our free shipping policy so let's go ahead and dive in start talking about some mechanical features first all right, so let's start talking about some of the mechanical features first uh, and what standard and such. And we are going to use Ford's website is up today, up and running here. So we are going to use uh, Ford's Ford.com here and their website to go over this. So if you go to SUVs and crossovers, see it says 22 Bronco. Actually, if you click on the building price, it is actually updated to 23 Bronco information here. So we've talked about the base, Big Ben, Black Diamond, Outer Banks that we're going to talk about today. In this or in this video i should say so two doors are starting at 41 855 four door if you click over there it starts at 44 445 it's a lot of fours there uh so that's what's uh, going to be now if you go to the sub view details it gives you some information of what's standard uh down in here and it's pretty accurate it's been updated uh you know when it first launched in 21 that was not near all the right features and that's what the, these videos were pretty helpful, but that is pretty updated. Uh, but I will cover it a little bit differently than they will. Uh, there are some features they have in safety that I feel like are you know, more of an exterior feature than a safety feature. And there's some things that aren't in safety. So we'll cover it a little bit differently. So let's go ahead and hit click on start your build. And we'll go in here and look at the powertrain first. So as we talk about these, these are, of course, standard 4x4 for all these. Standard engine is the 2.3 liter EcoBoost four-cylinder engine. Uh, as well as the 10-speed automatic transmission is standard equipment on the Outer Banks. Not, a, not an option for the 7-speed manual transmission for this trim. It will come standard. All your 10-speeds automatics actually come standard with your transmission oil cooler. I forgot to mention that in my other videos. Oh, well, <laughs> so also auto start-stop technology. So it comes to stop light, stop sign. It'll shut the vehicle off. When you press the brake and you let go of the brake, it's going to turn it back on. If you don't like that, that turning on and off at each, uh, each stop, there is a little button with a circle, an A with a circle around it on the instrument panel uh, right below your screen. Uh, press that and it'll deactivate it for that engine cycle. This comes standard with the suspension as you're seeing here in the image, the Haas 1.0 liter, or 1.0 liter, Haas 1.0 suspension here uh, will come with a train management system with the different GOAT modes, go over any type terrain. Uh, for the, uh, the Outer Banks trim, it comes with the normal, eco, sport, slippery, mud ruts, and your sand modes. You will get the electric power assist steering, e-pass, electronic stability control, electric parking brake the electronic traction control the the also the hill start assist is going to come standard with this and then the front stabilizer bars also standard equipment uh here for you so that's all going to be uh included as your mechanical features and standard here uh let's on, uh, go on and talk about some of the safety features here next and uh, how those are going to work now uh, we are going to cover some of these different axles uh standard axle on this will be the 373 as uh, part of the automatic transmission and we'll talk about these other axles and such and how you would get them and attain them here when we get to optional equipment now, real quickly, let's talk about some safety features. These are all the same safety features as we have seen in the previous three uh, trim levels. So if you did watch those, then you can go ahead and move forward uh, for this. We don't have any anything new 
uh, upgraded to the safety features than those other models. So for those that have watched that, you're just watching this one uh, first, let's go through these. We do have for airbags, you have a uh, driver and front passenger dual stage front airbag. The deploys a different size airbag, depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. You have a driver and front passenger side impact airbag. So that's going to deploy it from the side of the seat if there's a side collision. And you have the safety canopy side curtain airbag with the rollover sensor. So if the vehicle is going to roll over, it's going to uh, set that off, have those airbags deploy down, help uh, from any kind of breaking glass and such, and keeping you protected that way. You do get pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. So it has a, a brake support as well as a front sensing system. Not a front sensing system, I should say, a forward collision warning system. So it, if you're going you know, too fast or maybe you're going and it knows that you can't stop in time to hit that vehicle, or if you don't hit your brakes, then it's going to initiate and let you know with a series of tones, a little uh, message on the productivity screen. And it's, it's red. that lets you know that you need to stop and hit your brakes. And it preloads those brakes, too. So that way, when you're ready to brake, it's going to brake even faster. Mm -hmm. Also, you get post-collision braking. So that's going to do is if you get in an accident, you're not able to part, put it in park. It's going to brake the vehicle so you don't go wander off and into in a more severe accident. Also, you do get the advanced track with roll stability control. The whole goal behind that is to keep you on your intended path. So a series of brakes on the vehicle. If you go into curve too fast, it's slick outside. Those types of situations, it's going to uh, help you keep you on your intended path by using a series of brakes in milliseconds uh, to help you uh, keep you going. Safety, uh, child safety locks. Uh, for the four-door versions, you're going to have child safety locks. So you can lock up those rear doors so the kids can't open those when you don't want them to. So that way you can open the door from the outside allow them to get out when you want them to. Also, you get perimeter alarm. Perimeter alarm uh, is going to help protect the vehicle from any kind of theft. So if uh, you have the vehicle locked, there's nobody inside, it's going to set up that perimeter alarm. So that way if somebody breaks a window or tries to get inside, it's going to see that intrusion sensor inside the vehicle and it's going to set the, the uh, horns off, flash the lights and everything, let people know that someone's trying to uh, get into your vehicle. Also, there's inclination sensors as well. So if they try to jack up that front or back and take your wheels, it's going to set those alarms off as well. So pretty cool safety features that's included. And one of the safety features I want to include, I've been putting it in with the interior features, and that is the latch system that lower anchors and tethers for children. So what that's going to do is it's going to have a couple places for either the front or rear facing car seats to be able to buckle down securely into that and not use the shoulder harnesses to, to do that. Also, for those front facing car seats also has one that goes over the back of the seat and latches on the back to keep that front of that the top part of that, that car, front facing car seat against the seat that way. So again, all some great safety features that are standard on your Outer Banks trip. Now let's talk about some extra features, and as we start doing that, talk about the different colors. Actually, these are the same colors as we have seen on the other trim so far, uh, but we're going to cover those first. So we do have Shadow Black is available, Oxford White, Cactus Gray, we have silver, Iconic Silver Metallic, Carbonized Gray Metallic, Race Red, Eruption Green Metallic, we have Hot Pepper Red Tinted clear coat metallic tinted clear coat i should say it is an extra 500 dollars for that that color area 51 we also do have velocity blue metallic and we have azure gray which is a, actually doesn't say it here but it's a tri coat as well and uh, that is thousand dollars for that because it's three coats of paint on there so there you go there's all the different color options we have for this now uh, moving around as we talk about the exterior features i will use these images here to kind of uh, move around the vehicle first up here on the front we do have this grill so it's a black painted grill up here so it's a kind of a high gloss painted grill with the white bronco lettering so really upgrades it a little bit so it is kind of like what you see with the big bin but it's going to be black painted instead up here on the front so it looks real sharp with the white bronco lettering you have the active grill shutters they'll open and close when it needs to uh, so keep that engine cooled off uh, so it opens those up when you're going slower speeds in town and such uh, the front bumper is a black molded in front bumper you see this bumper looks just like the one that we see for the big bend trim with the fog lights so they are led fog lights here as well front tow hooks as well on the front of those and uh, you do have the uh, LED headlights as well. So uh, full LEDs are automatic. So it will come on automatically when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light, if you have an auto setting there. Also, you get LED signature lighting. And that's the, the light ring that goes around the outside of that headlight. 
that's the LED lighting uh, that's going to come on. Uh, that's usually typically on as well when you have your daytime running lights on, which are configurable. You can have those on as well. Uh, so that's pretty cool in how that works. Also, you do get the uh, mentioned LED fog lights and you get auto high beams. Auto high beams will turn on those high beams when it's dark outside. So if it's uh, if your car approaches you or city lights, it'll shut it off automatically. Now, the configurable daytime running lights as well as the auto high beams can be can be turned on and activated and deactivated through your lighting section of your vehicle setting screens. Now, moving around to the side over here, you can see the wheel. Standard wheel is an 18-inch uh, bright machine black high gloss painted alloy wheel. So you can see that machine faced uh, wheel. So pretty cool 18 inch wheel. So it's an upgrade from 17 to 18 when you go to the outer banks. It is a P25 70 R18 all terrain 32 inch tire that goes along with that. So um, pretty cool how that works. Individual tire pressure monitoring system for all four of those. And you will get four wheel disc brakes with ABS as well. And uh, check out the fender flares. Uh, this is the first time we're actually seeing something other than the molded in black fender flares. So it is going to be the body colored fender flares. A lot of people like to go to the outer banks because they want that body color look. You're going to get that here. Also, you get those uh, fender, uh, also the, the uh, fender guides up here. Uh, they call them tie downs, um, but you can actually use, you know, guide wires if you have, uh, you know, those limbs to brush those away or just use those for guides. Those are on there as well. Outer banks badging here on the side as well uh, for it to dictate that it is an outer banks. You're going to see body colored mirror caps as well. First time again on the mirror caps, seeing that on the vehicle too. So you're going to have that as well. And you're going to, for the side, you're going to have the side, the tube step is powder coated. Standard equipment on the outer banks uh, version here. Uh, you also, oh, those mirrors too. It's going to be power and heated uh, configuration with the integrated blind spot mirror. And that's that angled mirror so you can see the vehicles and your blind spot a little bit better. Um, oh, actually, uh, I forgot to take that off. You're actually getting the bliss mirror. So this gets you this. Uh, it comes a standard. I forgot to mention it earlier with the mid package, like on the big Ben and the black diamond where the mid package is optional. It's actually standard on the outer bank. So you're getting the bliss with cross traffic alert. So blind spot information system. If there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also, as you back up, someone's going to cross your path behind you. It's going to alert you as well. It's going to put a, a series of tones you need to not uh, back up in that the rear view camera. It'll have an arrow showing which way they're coming from or going across, which is really nice as well there. Um, this in here is showing black um, door handles, but it should be body color door handles on the outer banks. So again, this is one of the reasons I do the videos is sometimes the website's not 100% accurate. So it should be body color door handles here for this. And you will get the, the uh, two door intelligent access which means the front doors if you have four door configuration will get the intelligent access key fob in your pocket you just put your hands in the door handle it's going to automatically unlock the vehicle press the ridges on the outside when you get out it'll lock the vehicle as well works also on the tailgate as well that way um also get keyless entry if you want to unlock and lock it from a distance if you'd like to let people get into it that can that works as well and you get remote start as well with this one uh, that is, again, part of that mid-package features here. Now, let's talk about the, your tops for a second. This is the four-door version, so you're seeing a soft a cloth top here uh, for you that actually can convert back, kind of a convertible top in the sense that it brings it back if you want, so that you kind of have more of a, like, almost like a sun, like, almost like a moonroof kind of, so you can be able to have open air for those in the front, uh, driver and front passenger, but also it'll go on back. If you take these rear windows out, they can easily come out, and then you can retract it on back as well if you'd like to and we're completely top down if you'd like now uh, with that you're also going to get the wiring for the if you wanted to add a hard top so rear view the, the rear defrost and rear wiper uh, wiring will be come with the cloth top for the four-door versions now the two-door versions if we go back to that you're going to see now it gets the hard top so two-door comes standard with your carbonized gray molded in hard top comes with the um the sound deadening headliner as well and it comes with the rear view the back window is going to be defrost as well as a rear washer back there and it's going to come with two front panel uh door bags as well so those are going to come with the vehicle so you can store those i just said door i meant the top panel <laughs> those two top panels will come in a bag so you can put those store those inside the in the air in the back of the a vehicle so <laughs> for on vehicle storage is what i was looking for now here you can see on the two-door version actually showing the body color door handles to show that that is accurate so it's accurate on the two-door but not the four-door version there 
So there we go. And you do have the easy fuel capless Philidor. Just press that door open. No cap to worry about. Leave behind. Get your hands dirty. Just put the nozzle in there. Fill it up. When you're done, take it out. Shut the door. Um, you don't have to worry about, you know, theft, people stealing gas and such. It does have a double door system. That second door back in there has clips in there. So if that nozzle is not exactly the right size, it will not open that, that rear door. So, the, of course, the ones at the fuel pumps are the correct size. But if you use fuel cans, something like that, that kind of thing, it's not going to be the right size. So you want to use the funnel that Ford provides with the vehicle to be able to use that. So that is, I think, all of the side. So let's move around to the back here. So in the back, as we mentioned here, rear defrost, the rear wiper as well. Uh, it does have the center high-mounted stoplight on here, back here. Of course, the, the tire and wheel combination is going to be the same as the other four. So full-size spare and wheel to match with that. Rear view camera that comes out back here so you can be able to see as you're backing up. You'll notice that door handle back here is body colored, also included with intelligent access back there as well. Uh, the rear bumper is going to be the same as the front bumper, so it's going to be that molded in black rear bumper. You have one tow hook back here. You can't really see it in this angle. Can't see it in that angle either, but it does have one tow hook back here. Uh, so you'll have three, two on the front, one on the back back here as well. And then also you do have the halogen tail lights back here as well. Actually, I might need to look. It's LED when you go to the outer banks. I didn't. I was thinking that there was an upgrade there. You do get LED when you go for the tail lights when you go up to the outer banks trim. Also, you get the rear parking sensors as well as part of that mid package. Um, and then you get trailer sway control. Uh, inside the cargo area, you get a cargo area light. You also get the power point in the back back there. And then you, uh, 12, it's a 12 volt power point, power point, and also you get a bottle opener in there as well if you're tailgating and such and camping, so you can have the bottle opener as well. So that's all your exterior features. Let's move inside and show you some of the interior features now. Now moving to the interior, we're going to cover this. Uh, does uh, come with two different color interiors for you. You do see this one right here, which is the dark space gray with the navy pier. Cloth seats are standard equipment. We'll talk again about options in a little bit with leather. Uh, or you can go with the other route is the black onyx with the roast interior as you can see here uh, we'll keep it on that color actually I, I think the navy pier is that's a little misleading here it's not quite that dark i don't believe um but um, i think most of the people have chose this interior here so there you go cloth the seats are standard equipment here illuminated entry as well so getting in you can it lights up also the ambient footwell lighting as part of the mid package is also included I believe that's going to be ice blue for you. Carpeted flooring, front uh, and rear carpeted flooring, and front and rear floor mats for the four for the four door version. Front floor mats for the two door version here. Again, cloth bucket seats, front row heated seats. Again, part of the, the uh, mid package, so heated seat for the driver and front passenger. Six way manual uh, adjustment there for the driver and front passenger. So there's a little lever underneath the front. So that way it'll go ahead and allow you to slide that seat forward and back. Now, uh, this lever right over here is going to allow that to go up and down. And then this lever uh, right over here is going to be for the recline. So be able to recline it. So that's how that'll work there. Um, and then also in the back, second row. So for the, the two door version, which we're on right now you're gonna see the 50-50 split bench seat. So seats two back there, and also that seat backrest can fold down. If you need a little extra cargo room, you can do that. Now let's move over to the four-door version. So you can see how we're bouncing back and forth here just a little bit, because it's a little bit different on each one. So we go down to the four-door version. You're gonna see seats three back here, 60-40 split bench seat, armrest that comes down as well with a couple cup holders there. And you do have um, the four-door version will have a recline for those seats as well. Um, and then we do have, moving to the front up here, we'll use this other image here. Do you have power locks over here with auto, with unlock and lock? And uh, that those switches are right there on the door. Uh, you also do have the instrument cluster. So you do have a nice eight-inch color digital display like we've seen uh, coming from the base, Big Ben and Black Diamond. Uh, of course, lane keeping system is uh, included in this as part of the Copilot 360 features, as, which is included in the, um, the mid package. So lane keeping system has the driver alert system, so it lets you know if you take your hands off the steering wheel too often. Lane keeping aid system and alert system. The alert will alert you when you go over those lines by vibrating the steering wheel, whereas the aid system will help keep you in your lane. So you can use those together if you want, and when you get over the line, it'll vibrate the steering wheel but still keep you in your lane. 
Also, you do get the manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So a little lever underneath, pull that lever, and it'll go up and down, forward and back. Leather wrap steering wheel as well. So that way, real nice plush leather wrap steering wheel. Cruise control on the steering wheel, redundant audio controls, as well as controls for the control that productivity screen. Push button start is right back under here. You can kind of barely see it right there. You also have dual zone climate control. So the driver and front passenger have two different temperatures there and have the electronic automatic temperature control to give you that temperature there. Um, for your audio controls, it is an AM FM stereo with seven speakers, including a subwoofer, an upgrade for this year. Sirius XM satellite radio with the, it's the Sirius XM with 360L. Uh, also does have the Sync 4 with an 8 inch touchscreen here. That gets that's an enhanced voice recognition system. So that's going to give you the wireless Apple CarPlay um, and the Android Auto as well that's wireless. And you're going to also get the connected navigation with a 90 day trial uh, included as well. So again, everything is part of the mid package here. After 90 days, I think it's like $10 a month for a subscription for the keeping the navigation system there. Also up here, auto dimming rear view mirror. So if the cars come behind you with those bright lights, it's gonna automatically dim that mirror for you. Go to the 360 here, let's see. Overhead console is gonna include a sunglass bin and map lights as well. Your visors are gonna be illuminated. Uh, so they're probably uh, those little door on those are illuminated for those uh, mirrors on the back of the visors. Those visors can pivot around and you can move them over here to the side if you want. Uh, floor console uh, is, uh, of course, lock lockable, so you can lock that up. Uh, also does have a PowerPoint inside there, too. And on the front of those, uh, the console is going to be your uh, controls for your power windows. So uh, one touch up and down for all four of the windows. So you just kind of hard press it, and it'll go down. You don't have to hold it, which is a nice feature to have. Now, on the back side of the console, I can't really see it in this image here, you're going to have a U two USB ports as well on uh, USB type A and type C. You also get an outlet behind there as part of the mid package, and you're gonna get the controls for the windows back there as well for those uh, rear windows. Um, so that's gonna all be included. Leather uh, wrapped gear shifter knob as well here. And you're gonna have the media bin down in there. You see where your goat mode is for your automatic transmission there. Uh, media hub, you can see rack right in there is the uh, USB ports, USB type A and C as well. So you have set in the front, set in the back. Your uh, glove box is lockable as well with a toolkit inside. Uh, so that toolkit will come with some of the basic tools to be able to remove the top and that kind of thing pretty easily, as well as any type of accessories and that kind of thing. And I kind of mentioned that these are lockable because if you want to have the top down, you can actually store things there as well as there. And there's some options for some optional rear storage as well that are and make it to where people can't get to it and access it to it and locking that up as well. And it does have the Ford Pass Connect that allows you to stay connected to the vehicle using the Ford Pass app. It's a free app you download. Uh, you can remote start your vehicle from anywhere, unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere, schedule remote start times. All those different features, including seeing your tire pressure on your vehicle, your fuel, and where your vehicle is located, all through the app. Uh, pretty co cool little app that you can download. One of the most used apps of any other automaker there. So there you go. That's all of the standard equipment that we've talked about so far. Let's talk about a couple different packages you might consider. So start talking about some different packages. As I mentioned, the mid-package is included as uh, for the Outer Banks. If you want to learn more about one of those features, we already covered all those as standard equipment in uh, already but that's what there's where those are all listed of what's included in that package now let's talk about the high package uh, so that uh, if you are a mid package uh, which is the standard equipment is 312a equipment group we're going to talk about the 313a equipment group which is the high package so it's 1295 for that package click on a little i learn a little bit more about it you're going to get the 12 inch touchscreen here so this is where uh let's go ahead and add that and kind of show you so this gives you the big 12 inch touchscreen here so when we go to the interior you can see much bigger nice big 12 inch touchscreen so with that screen there that's going to give you um more of the 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 apps on demand so you're going to have in the middle part you're going to have some apps where you can swipe over the other apps if you want to so that way you kind of have two of them ready and available for you and you could swipe back and forth from those so that's pretty cool and how that works a nice big 12 inch screen also, you get the 360 degree camera with this. So cameras underneath each of the side view mirrors, as well as in the front and the one on the back to be able to see completely around the vehicle, which comes in real hand handy. Also, you get additional sound deadening materials on the vehicle to make it even quieter in the vehicle. 
you get front parking sensors so you have the uh, rear as well as now you'll have front so completely uh, surrounding sensing system so that way you can uh, don't have to worry about um you know hitting anyone also your side view mirrors are going to get the see if it clears it here you'll see it there it does have the uh the uh, led the so approach lamps yeah. and the led spotlights on the side so that way you can use those left or right to be able to cast those out as well as underneath on the side as well so uh, pretty good little uh, set of features the high package there again 12.95 for that package there if you want to add that to your vehicle now let's talk about another equipment group, and that's the 314A equipment group, and that is the Lux package. Now this package is kind of holding up builds a little bit because there's it's a as you can see here, it's $31.95 from the mid package to go to that package. Uh, if you want to get that. So let's go ahead and uh, click and add that package. It might prompt us to remove the other note, but didn't. So okay, you're gonna get everything as part of the high package, plus you're gonna also get these features here. So you're gonna get the adaptive cruise control. This is where when you have that cruise set. Uh, if there's someone going slower than you, you're going to slow down to go their speed to you, it's uh, safe for you to resume and it'll speed you back up. So that's a nice feature to have uh, is that adaptive cruise. A lot of people like that. Also, you're going to get the Beano audio sound system with 10 speakers, including a subwoofer. So three more speakers in that Bang & Olufsen sound system there. Also, you get evasive steering assist as part of the adaptive cruise there. So basically what that means is if you uh, cannot brake in time and you have to steer away and around a vehicle, it's going to assist in that steering so that you can easily turn the vehicle. Comes in real handy. Also, you're getting a leather wrap steering wheel already. Now you're going to get the heated steering wheel as part of this package. Also, you get dual smart USB ports, uh, USB type A and type C on the dashboard. So let me kind of show you where that's located here on the inside so um, you're going to get usb ports down here behind the console as well as up here so now with the lux package you're getting a couple ports up there and what the reason people want that up there is there's a little position up here where you could plug in like a gopro and keep it charged uh, so a lot of people like to you know take you know videos of their adventures and such and they can do that with the gopro up there mounted and plug it into the uh those ports up there on the top so that's why they might want that uh that system there so that's pretty cool as well included in that and you get the universal garage door opener so move that up here when it there we go so universal garage door opener so up here you can see those uh, three uh, transmitter buttons up there so instead of a garage door you can use, program those three buttons to a garage door so up to up to three buttons you can see all there four different transmitters as well as down below you get a wireless charging pad can't really see it there very well but you put your phone down in there and it'll wireless charge your phone if you have a wireless charging phone as well this is a, a big package and includes a lot of features here uh, again uh, you know you're getting everything as part of the high package plus all those other great features uh, so a lot of people you want that really luxury finish uh, to the vehicle then that would be your lux package and again keep in mind that the lux package a lot of times will hold up your builds a little bit so you might think about that and consider that as well and see how important those features are for you if you're willing to wait for them now let's talk about some other packages as well that's available. Those are mainly equipment groups, uh, but they kind of call them packages. So anyway, we're going to go into this first one, and that is the Sasquatch package. This is the one where you know full off-road capabilities. This is the package for you. 17-inch black high-gloss painted alloy wheel with the warm alloy beauty ring. So that's not quite the right color there. But the outer ring back there is going to be like a silverish color outer ring. It's a beadlock capable uh, wheel. And you're going to get the LT315 70R17 Mud Terrain 35-inch tires to go along with that. So uh, it does downgrade you from an 18 to a 17, but the reason for that is a better, more off-road capable wheel. You want more tire, less rim usually uh, for that. Uh, so you're going to get the 4.7 final drive ratio with the electronic locking front and rear differential so this is the only way you're, you're going to get that the uh, front and rear is right uh, with this here uh you can get as optional a rear we'll talk about that but the only way to get that front uh locking differential is with this package the high clearance suspension as well so a much better suspension to help with those wheels of course uh, or the tires the bigger tires as well as you're going to get the high clearance fender flares because you're going to have a wider tire Getting a wider fender flare as well on there is going to come with it. Now, when you go with this on the outer banks, it's going to be a molded in black fender flare. So if we add this package and then we close this, there we go. So 
does change that. Actually, it's still showing the body colored or the body colored fender flares, but you normally get the molded in black fender flares instead of the wider ones that are painted here. So just keep that in mind. Uh, so this image is not 100% accurate. So let's uh, let's actually go to the two door. That is the two door version. Let's go to the four door version. Actually, the two door was more accurate earlier, right? So we'll just see if we add this package to it. Um, there you go. So now it's showing the body, the molded in black. So, but, but the body, the door handles would still be the black door handles there. So keep that in mind. Actually, I don't think I picked the outer banks. So let's try that again. <laughs> so I was on the black diamond. I don't know. Anyway, so we do that and we go to the Sasquatch package. There you go. Gives you the bigger wheels, but they did not change out the fender flares there for you. Uh, so uh, just keep that in mind that you will get the molded in black fender flares uh, when you go to that package. Let's try it one more time because I don't know if I picked the four door. There you go. Still get showing you the body color. You notice it didn't make those fender flares wider, but you will get the molded in black with this uh, package uh, on the outer on the uh, outer banks version here. Now let's talk about another package that's available, and that is the towing capability here. Um, or tow package and uh, for 595 here you get the hitch so you're getting the a two inch receiver hitch as well as you're getting the four pin and seven pin wiring that goes along with that so now keep in mind this is something that is actually holding up builds when we put this in it actually pops up a window and says are you sure you want this on there because this is actually holding up builds and hold, it could take longer to get scheduled with this on there but if you do get this done at the dealer later usually the hitch costs about 495 or maybe even 400 and then you got to pay them to wire it in and it's only going to be the four pin wiring and sometimes that wiring they might charge you quite a bit of money to get it wired in because it does it's a little extensive on the bronco to wire it in it's not a really easy wiring process without it so i wish that uh, ford would actually pre-wire that for you at maybe a lower cost uh, to help out if it's just the hitch they're having issues with so that that way it'd be easier for dealers and be cost efficient but that's something you got to think about uh, whether or not how you want to do that uh, but it does cost a little bit uh, more expensive than 5.95 to have it done at the dealer afterwards and you will not get the seven pin wiring so something i want to make sure you knew about now we're going to start start to talk about some standalone options we're going to start by uh, talking about some of the powertrain options you have that's optional for you. Now, keep in mind going up here that the 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine is the standard engine here, and uh, the automatic transmission, 10 speed automatic, is standard as well. So, you do have an option to go to the 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6 engine. It's $18.95 if you want to upgrade to the 2.7 liter engine. Uh, it shouldn't really hold up builds too much. It used to be an issue and holding up, but I think it's a little bit better now. Uh, shouldn't hold it up too much now also because you have the automatic transmission the 373 axle is also the standard equipment axle here and the 4.7 liter remember that is part of the sasquatch package so when you select that one it's going to tell you to add the sasquatch package the other option is the 4.2 4.27 axle here that comes with the rear locker so when we add the rear locker on there 795 to add the uh, rear locking differential it actually upgrades to the 4.27. So you're really paying for the, the rear locker upgrade more than the axle, but it's going to give you the 4.27 axle. So those are your powertrain options for you that you can elect to go with if you want. So we're going to go ahead and click that back. So we're back where we were of what's standard. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and start talking about some of the exterior standalone options next. And we start talking about some of these extra options. I will let you know what, which of these are factory installed options that you can only really get at the factory, not something you can get afterwards. And then some of these are considered Ford accessory. It means they're pre-installed. Uh, they do it at the factory, but they're a Ford accessory option. So a lot of those can actually be purchased from Ford accessories and you can install it yourself if you'd like to. But if you order it on your build from the factory with your dealer, then the factory will put it on your build. So some of those are holding up, uh, some are not. So we'll talk about that. And then the other option is any dealer installed options, which means that if it's an option you choose on your build from the factory, the factory is going to ship all the parts to the dealer and the dealership would install them at no cost for you. So again, those are items that you can get later through Ford Accessories, but you'd have to pay for your own install fee unless you want to do it yourself. So let's go ahead and break down and go through with some of these. Now you will actually look here, this optional wheel, that is part of your Sasquatch package along with this optional tire. So you'd have to go Sasquatch to get these right here. And then moving on down, we do have some options here. I'm actually gonna move down a little bit further and talk about the, the top option here. We are looking at the four door because four door comes standard with a cloth top, two door standard with a hard top. 
If you want the hardtop for $6.95, you can get the hardtop carbonized gray molded in color as an option for you. And that'll give you that hardtop. The two front panels can come off as separate. And then you have one bigger panel back here. Uh, not really showing the separation in this image, but that's how that's going to be. Again, that is available and optional on the four-door conversion or four-door version, I should say. Also, you do have the dual top. So now for this year, this is new, you get the dual top. So carbonized gray molded and hard top with the black soft top. You get both. So not sure how they're getting this to dealers and to the customers. I don't know if they're going to ship the, the cloth top to their house or what, how they're going to do that. Uh, I'd assume to the dealership, and the dealership would deliver it to you. Uh, but for $25.45, you can get the option of having both, which I think is great uh, for those that want both options. I like my cloth top, but there are going to be times I'm going to want a hard top if I want to go camping and put a roof rack on there. Having a hard top would be uh, convenient, so I kind of would like to have both. So this is an option for this year to do that. So again, that is available on your four-door versions, not your two-door. You cannot get a cloth top on the two-door, uh, just so you know that. And those are factory installed options. Uh, you would want to have, order it with your vehicle. Now, remember, if you do get the hard top here, you are getting the also the sound uh, deadening headliner as well. And it'll have the rear uh, defrost and rear washer on that too. And you're going to get storage bags for the front two panels on there as well. It comes along with that. Um, and then, of course, when you get the dual tops, you'll come with those things as well as part of having the hard top. Now, moving on up. If you do go with a hard top, you have four different options for some other additional tops. So if you do go with the hard top, you can add this uh, top retractable full twill. I guess that's, I'm saying that right. I don't know. Soft top there uh, from Best Stop. It is available. It's a dealer installed option. So it will be shipped to the dealer. Dealership probably would not install it, but give it to you because you're going to have a hard top on there. Uh, so that's available with the four doors. Again, that is considered a dealer installed option and possibly a Ford accessory that you might be able to get later. So there you go. That's an option for you having that. You also have this other one down here. I'm going to skip down, skip around a little bit here. You have this other retractable top. And as you see, it allows you to leave the four, uh, the hard top on there and have this opening and with a retractable cloth top that goes in there as well. Again, this is a dealer installed option. Um, and it looks like that one there is available. It's saying for the four door only. Uh, it does say not available with the soft top for the four door uh, uh but i think might be available on the two door conversion version here let's actually see if it is um because I, i've been saying that all along so <laughs> on my other videos and i just thought about now well maybe i'm wrong on that so let's let's go to that and see uh so that is available you actually have this available on the two door even so you can go that version so it does allow you to have that as we mentioned as well as Yep, it does. So that one's there as well. So you, again, you can get that with the two-door or the four-door model there. You also do have this, these different uh, tops, these shades. Uh, so this in here is that mesh shade. So that is also available for you. Um, and it does say that it's not available with the, the cloth top, but available with the hard top, which it will fit with the heart with the cloth top because I have one on mine. So I know it can. Again, dealer install, they would ship it ahead of time as well as the, the Benemy top. This is the one that I have. So that one there actually harnesses down and see it doesn't really get in the way of that and you actually will release uh, from the top over there so you can put your cloth top or hard top on there. So that is available as well. Again, dealer installed. They may just give it to you. I'm not sure on that. So I am actually gonna kick back over to the four door as we continue here because uh, most of these options are for the four door. So go on down. So gone through the, all the roof options there for you. Uh, the front bumper here, you can get the modular front bumper. Uh, again, this does replace the fog lights and gives you your integrated tow hooks into this. And so this is available for you. does come with the front skid plate as well, um, or bash plate is what they call it. Uh, that will be included within that. So it does remove the standard fog lights, LED fog lights on the Big Ben Outer Banks and Black Diamond. Uh, so there you go. So that is an option for you. And it's going to give you these bash plates to come along with it. That's why there's not a price there. So you have that as an option as well right there. And uh, so let me, uh, what am I looking for a front bumper? Yep, that's up here. So again, that is a Ford accessory option, but you'd want to get that from the factory because uh, if you get it any other way, these tow hooks actually are kind of attached there. You'd have to cut those tow hooks off if you did it later. So something, if you were thinking you want that, get it from the factory. We have the body armor protective moldings here. So you do have that. So that is available. It's a dealer installed option. 
I believe. Let me double check. Um, so, yes, they are a dealer installed option. Not available with a Sasquatch package or your, your body appearance kit uh, is available. And uh, so you're going to see these uh, moldings back here to kind of protect it. So there you go. So it does say right here. Um, so a nice uh, light black, light textured finish to that. So matte black, I should say. Uh, textured finish and uh, so there you go designed to complement the arrow skin two hood protector which is a, a four accessory option you cannot get from the factory uh, but can go with along with that so there you go that's an option uh, moving down you have this fender flare kit this is a steel fender flares so let's see how those look so steel fender flares are so a little more durable protective that kind of thing uh, is uh, they say available on the big bin uh, black diamond outer banks version so two door or four door is a dealer installed option so come to the dealership and dealership would install it for you not available on the sasquatch package because it gets its own fender flare you have the tube doors now this is available in either the two door configuration or the four door configuration and it's kind of a dealer installed option in the sense that they will be shipped to the dealership and they'll give them to you because you wouldn't want to you can't have both sets of doors on at the same time right so that's how that would look. So they're pretty cool. So those are an option for you. Body appearance kit, as you can see here. So this is not compatible with the Sasquatch package, not available, or the uh, splash guards, it says. Um, let me look at that because uh, my note says something a little different. So it does not available Sasquatch package or the body armor protective moldings. Doesn't say anything about the others uh, because you're looking here, you get the hood scoop, door moldings, and the fender flares. To go along with that so that's probably why the splash guards wouldn't be available but according to the order guide that's not mentioning anything about the splash guards but you probably wouldn't get those anyway so there you go some great upgrades for you for appearance and then we do have a couple things for the tire cover so you have a couple three different tire cover options we have an abstract bronco here as an option they're all 90 dollars and these are dealer installed options which mean they'll come to the dealership ahead of time and they'll put it on the uh, spare tire for you you do have the uh bronco 66 what they're calling that so a little bit different look there and then you do have this other stamping here the ford uh tg stamping there you go a couple different options there for those and again uh, dealer installed options um, so note this these are not available with the Sasquatch package because the wheel those tires are too big You do have the cockpit cover as well So uh, it comes in real handy if you have the top off completely and enjoying the day and maybe you want to be able to have it The next day you can put this cover over there over it and kind of protect it So you don't have to put the, the cover the top back on every time or every day every night and it's available for you So I think that's available in the two-door or the four-door version. Let me look not available with the Sasquatch package not sure what the Sasquatch has to do with the top of it because that wouldn't affect that. But there you go. If not, if you have a Sasquatch, you want that, go to FordAccessories.com and you can order it. should be able to order it through there. The roof rack rails with the crossbars. There you go. Available on the hardtop version, two-door or four-door here. Uh, so that's available as a standalone option. That is a dealer. That is a factory installed option. So you'd want to go ahead and put that on your uh, build there. Um which, uh, here it is uh does require the hard top or dual top um and uh, so there you go that is available so uh either the two-door or the four-door uh, version there um this year does not say that it's not available with the sasquatch so there you go the removable hoop step remember standard equipment is the uh, side uh, tube steps over here so you can get this as well the removable hoop step and that is i believe a dealer is that a dealer installed option Thought it was a factory installed option there it is factory installed option no uh constraints there on this but it does uh probably would take off the hoop the running board that comes with it instead for this one here and those steps can come off of there so uh then you do have um there you go so, so there your tube step is standard equipment so and then you have the tonneau cover soft right here so that allows you to put that over there and cover it up uh not really for security reasons but more or less just to protect it from the elements and stuff like that so if you have the hard top off then you can go ahead and protect it keep things inside too so that way if you're off-roading then it doesn't come out and that tonneau cover requires four door it says and also is not available with the sasquatch package it is a dealer installed option dealer would install it for you I probably just give it to you so you can put it on when you need to. 
The brush guards. This is a factory option. The factory would put it on. It does require the modular front bumper up here. So that is available, uh, that brush guard. See that any other constraints there just requires the modular hardtop. And that's a Ford accessory, but you'd probably want to get it. You can you can add this as long as you have the modular front bumper from the factory. You can always add this brush guard later. It's really up to you, but you can also order it. Should not hold up your builds much. Uh, might be a small constraint item on that. Uh, really can't tell, but you might want to just check with your dealer on it um, as that plays along to see which uh, constraint items you have on your orders. Uh, can't remember if the brush guard is one of those items. The wall, wheel lock kit, this is a dealer installed option. They would actually take one of the lug nuts off of your wheels, including the one on the back, and then put this one, this, these on instead. Uh, so there you go. That's your option for you. So you can add that to your vehicle. All right. No constraints on that. All right. Engine block heater is also available. So if you uh, live in a cold weather state, uh, engine block heater, that's a factory installed option. You would want to make sure you add it to your order so that it can be put on at the factory and help keep that engine a little bit uh, warmer. So that way it'll start up real easily on those cold days. The keyless entry keypad, another, it's an accessory, but the dealer would put it on or the factory would put it on. It does, you notice here, it is a body colored on the outside there. And so really cool keypad. So if you want to put that on there, that is not holding up builds. I had that put on mine. I uh, shouldn't hold up yours either. And I think that's about all the different options here. Uh, there is one here that I mentioned that it does have a base LED light headlight. So if you, you notice this includes the LED headlights with LED signature lighting. So if you want to take off the signature lighting for some reason, you can add that or actually it's adding it. Oh no, I see what it is. Okay. So this is adding it. So if there's any constraints, so this last year, we saw situations with LED lights where because of uh, commodity constraints, microchips, different things like that, just part constraints in general, uh, they had to remove some things. So they made this option on the order guide. So it's not showing on the building price because at this present time, it's not a required option, but they're putting it in the order guide just in case they have any issues with parts so that they can just quickly put those on those builds because it's already in the order guide. Uh, so just make just know that that's out there right now there's not an issue with that it shouldn't happen but just want to make sure you're aware of that also the front license plate bracket states that require front license plate standard equipment states like kansas that does not require front license plate bracket it is a standalone option but it's a no charge option if you put it on your build to have it uh, installed for the factory the factory would send the license plate bracket with it and then the dealership would install it at no charge uh, because a ford would pay them for that install fee and i think that is everything on the exterior options let's move to the interior options now let's talk about the interior options a lot of this has to do with the rear cargo area as well as like floor liners and different things like that so let's go ahead and go run through these and the same principle on these on some of those are you know factory installed options some are things you can get through Ford accessories and put it on later, that kind of thing. So cargo area uh, storage, the fixed lid. So this here, uh, as you can see there, does give you kind of an outer uh, boundary here. So that way people, you know, you had to the, the top off and everything else, people couldn't get in there and it's fixed. So that means that can't move up for you. So just keep that in mind. And I believe this in here is cargo area fixed lid. It is not available with the Sasquatch package, not available with the slide out tailgate or the cargo area protector. So keep that in mind. It doesn't say that it requires a four door. So it should be available on the two door as well. We do have the raised lid. So this one right here, this one does require four door. Uh, and you can see the hydraulic there for that. So I'll lift that up and uh, you can uh, kind of the same kind of principle there. Uh, again, not available with the slide out tailgate or the cargo area protector or the Sasquatch package either. So it's not available with any of those as well. So, all right, another option for the cargo area, you do have this drawer. So this is also uh, requires four door, um, not available with a Sasquatch package and not available with a slide out tailgate or the cargo area protector. Uh, so that's an option for you as well. It locks that storage compartment so you can put things in there. If you need a little extra room, more than just a console and the glove box, you have that there. So again, all three of these are dealer installed options. Forgot to mention that. Um, and so you would the dealer would install that. Now there's an option for the two door as well so let me go over to the two door so you can see that there's one other option that's not available in the four door but that is available on the two door uh and this and that is this so so on the two door it actually is showing so uh, does not show that that um, does have the fixed lid so like we said is available and then you have this trunk so the storage trunk you can see right there so 
it's kind of like giving you that instead of the drawer uh, for the two door version. So again, not available with the slide out tailgate, the cargo area protector, or your Sasquatch package there. Uh, so available for your two door versions right there. So I'm actually gonna slide back to the four door because most of these again, require four door and that's why we're kind of using the four door for that information. Uh, so moving on down, we do have the, some cargo air protectors. We mentioned not available with those others, but if you want to get it, protects it. So whether it be a two door or four door, the cargo area protector is available. That is actually uh, a Ford accessory. It would be shipped with the vehicle. So the dealership wouldn't come ahead of time. Not available with the tailgate, the slide out tailgate or the Sasquatch package. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, we do have some different assistance kits. So we do have an on-road and off-road assistance kit and a first aid kit. So all these are dealer installed options. So they're gonna be shipped in a package to the dealership from the factory. The dealer would then go ahead and put everything together in the bag and give it to you. Uh, so that's uh, why it's called a dealer installed option. Again, these are all things that you can get through Ford Accessories website uh, pretty easily. Um, not hold up any builds that way if you want. Can even get it ahead of time. Um, you know, that's always an option too. think about that. I will say the off-road assistance kit is not available with the Sasquatch package though, uh, but otherwise it's available. Uh, really, you probably could do is that's where you can order that afterwards and then you can still get the Sasquatch package. So uh, anyway, um, all right, auxiliary switches here. Uh, so this is an option for you. So 195 for that. It does replace the sunglass bin. So it gives you pre-wired uh, uh, switches here for you. So auxiliary switches, those are a factory installed option. So you wanna make sure you add that to your order so that's done at the factory. Floor liners, those are Ford accessories. You can get them through Ford Accessories website, but they are would come with the vehicle. So you can get it with the carpeted mats or without the carpeted mats. Um, typically they're different prices, um, but there you go. That's available, whether it be the two door or the four door, either one it's available. Now with the one without the floor mats, um, you know, whether two door or four door, it's not gonna matter. It's gonna give you all four. Uh, but if you get the one without, uh, with the carpeted mats, this one here on the two door version, you can get two mats, carpeted mats on the four door, you're gonna get four mats, just so you know that. There you go. And uh, moving down, we do have the upgraded front and rear carpeted mats. So mentioned on the two door, you only get front ones. Go with this upgrade, you get front and rear and they're up, they say upgraded. So we have no images, so I don't know what those really look like, but those are an option for you. Uh, replaces the carpeted floor mats and not of course not available with the floor liners. The slide out tailgate, I'm kind of talking about this earlier about that's not compatible with some other cargo area uh, things. So you can see what that looks like. So that does i believe require yet yeah, requires four door it's not available in the two door uh you can slide that out again this is not uh i gotta find that one real quick <laughs> uh there it is um tail, no that's tailgate table slide out tailgate it is a ford accessories so it will be put on at the factory it requires four door not available with sasquatch and not available with the dual top for some reason not sure why there you go uh cargo net kit so you can see what that comes with there. Again, this is a cargo net kit is a um, dealer installed option. So be shipped to the dealer's bed of time and they'll just put it in your vehicle for you when they deliver it to you. And um, that one there is no constraints there on, on what's not available. We do have, of course, we already talked about if you have the front row top panels uh, that are gonna be included when you get a hard top. Uh, there are door bags as well. So if you have, if you want storage bags for the doors, get this one here. So this is the option you want for if you have a cloth top. So you're going to get the storage bags with no panel bags, of course, because you don't have a hard top. So if you have a cloth top, you're going to go with that one. And that is a Ford Accessories uh, thing. And I would actually get those because for a while they weren't showing up on Ford Accessories website. So I would maybe order those with your vehicle if you want those, think you're going to take those doors off. Go ahead and order that now if you have a hard top then you go with this option here which is the same price because you get the front panels bag storage bags already so go with this and it gets to the door bags as well so it's going to include all the bags the door as well as the front two panels there for you uh, so that's uh, those two options and how that works um, also we do have moving on down here tailgate table so you see how that looks that goes on the back of the tailgate so there you go that is a um, Dealer installed option so that would be shipped to the dealership. The dealership would install that for you. 
um, and that there is not available with the slide out tailgate so you have to choose one or the other I guess they figure they would interfere with each other, I assume. Uh, and then the storage bags, you have the roof storage bag, that second row panel. So four-door hardtop is what we're talking about here. That middle panel uh, can come off. Put it in this bag to help protect it. So again, this is only available with the four-door models. And you can get that. That is a dealer-installed option. They'll basically just put it in the vehicle for you. And then we do have the, moving on down, we have the console lockbox. So they call it a safe deposit, but it's a console vault, basically. Combination, so you can set your own combination and store things in there. I'm not sure you already get a lock on the console itself with a key, but maybe if you want to uh, not have the keys in it or something, or I don't know, uh, that allows you to be able to put a combination if you want. So again, that is available. Uh, let me look, there's constraints. Nope, it's available on two door or four door. No constraints there. On what's available with and i believe the only other one i think everything else we're good on uh, make sure i got all my check marks here on everything we have covered about everything there is um we mentioned earlier uh options uh for the uh, mid package gets the navigation system so if you look down here uh we have nav uh navigation is included actually it's not oh there it is navigation the 980 trial is included as part of the mid package so that's standard equipment already uh, but if you want the three years of service the connected built-in navigation system at 695 so with the mid package or with the high package it is optional it's that's included already in the lux package you get that that three years of service uh, so the, basically you're prepaying for that navigation that is optional for you you can get that as well something we overlooked at the top um is the leather seats so leather seats are an option and either of the two color configurations so it is 2195 with the leather seats uh so there you go uh you're gonna have that option for you uh so those two different color options so you get the leather seats available on any of your different equipment groups whether you have the mid package high package or lux package you can add this for the four-door version uh you'll have the leather seats just keep in mind the four-door only will get the 10-way power driver seat and eight-way front passenger seat um, and second row beverage holders it says so on the for the armrest so back here so they've been including this all along and i guess it hasn't been available um and i've been saying in all my videos that that's that's the way they're going to come but it's not unless you go with the leather seats so here you go there's an option it's not showing you the power seat controls here but with the leather seat you do get the power seats for those 10-way driver eight-way passenger for that uh, if you click the details usually will tell you that um, it's not mentioning it here this year but it is in the order guide so it is included so and there you go there's a fourth one so there you go it's not mentioning in here uh, mentions you know manual seat adjustment right there 50 50 are we on we might be on two door but maybe the reason they have that is because of the um, four door two door uh, option there but we are in four door configuration so for your four-door models, you also get the power seat to go along with the leather if you go like to go that route. And I think we've covered everything. There is a navigation removal option in here. Uh, right now at this time, they shouldn't have that. Uh, it's not going to be available. That's going to allow them, if there's any constraint items with microchips like we did see last year, they actually had to take that off of some and, and not include it uh, because some of the vehicles uh, did uh, because of microchips and issues and all, all that kind of stuff they actually had to remove the navigation option so they have an order guide so if they ever need to it does say in here that it is required option when the feature is not available so when they run out of parts and such they may add that option to your order so that you can get so that they can ship this and get these broncos out uh, so they may come without the navigation but right now that shouldn't be an issue no problem uh, at this time so just keep that in mind and I think that's all of our option equipment now so there you go that's all of our uh, that's our complete guide there it's all of our standard equipment different packages and standalone options all in this one video hopefully this video helps you out if you're looking to maybe get an Outer Banks hopefully this answers some questions for you give you some options so you know what's available uh, so if you have that 22 order that you're converting over to 23 go to your dealer now they can help you and confirm this order for you if you want to go with this this trim or with one of the other trims we've already covered uh, or we're going to cover some other trims that you might think about as well uh, hopefully these videos help you out with that if you're waiting to put in that 23 order hopefully it comes up soon they did tell us fourth quarter 
and we should be able to put that order in. So that is something that you can do. So you can, it gives you a chance to go ahead and configure, use the building price to configure it out. Let me show you just real quick. If you want to work with your dealer and kind of get that order in early and fast, you can kind of configure it the way you want to using this. Go to the summary and right over here, you're gonna see a print button. So you could print it and take it in with you to the dealer if you want to. Or if you're working with your dealership remotely, like we do with a lot of our customers, hit that share button. You can copy this and send as an email to your salesperson or to that internet department and they can do that also you can share it using your email clicking this way and it pulls up your email uh, 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 configure uh, browser i guess uh, email service i should say with on your computer so that's a couple ways you can share that build with your dealers if you want to so that way you can make sure you get that order in as soon as the order banks open up for 23. again we don't have any timeline yet they're telling this fourth quarter we think it's going to be sometime after november 21st that is the deadline for a lot of the orders and reservation holders that haven't converted over so uh give them a chance to get those orders in before they're looking and see what their uh, commodities are and such and taking orders uh so hopefully you got a good local dealer you can work with and get your order in with them uh, if you are struggling to find one we do honor msrp pricing and we do have only a 500 dollars dealer fee no other added fees are added to our vehicles like some other dealers will do with, with theirs uh, so that's something you can do uh, also here too we do a, if you watch our videos on youtube make sure you mention that you saw this video we do free shipping uh for all of our youtube uh, viewers out there so you just let us know if you finance through a standard rates then we will cover the first thousand dollars of the shipping cost so we do require the financing because that's how we pay for the free shipping it's not something that's uh so we still have to pay for that and so but if you're planning to finance anyway finance with us and we can have it shipped to you uh, no matter where you're at and we'll cover the first thousand dollars that way so that's something you can uh, do if you want to do that so reach out to us let us know i will say at this point we have about 67 22 orders that are being rolled over and we're going to get about double that of allocations for this year so plenty of allocations for new orders uh, if you want to put an order in with us get it in early so you can get one of the first ones and you know the first you know about 67 new orders we have we should be able to fulfill all those within this 2023 model year and uh, be able to do that so we're finally in a situation where we can say that and should have everybody taken care of for this ordered already previously in previous models so that we can take new orders and actually be able to produce those in the same model year so which is which is really great so if you want to do that reach out to us. We can help you out with that as well. Don't forget, you can find us on social media. We're at La MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And don't forget, on those two, we go live. We do a Facebook Live every Thursday night at 6 p.m. on our Facebook page, at Law MacArthur. So go ahead and subscribe to that. You'll get notifications when we go live, as well as on our YouTube channel here. So you want to make sure you're subscribed with that bell notification turned on, because every Tuesday night, we do a live stream here as well at 7 p.m. on Tuesday nights, Central Time, and where we go over uh, different different topics and everything on those live streams. And then we spend about the, uh, about an hour after that answering your questions. And on Facebook, we do, it for that Facebook Live, it's a full, you know, uh, take those questions for one hour and it's just kind of like we just answer questions boom 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 and i get everybody's questions answered before i get off the live stream so that's if you're wanting to have any questions like that come on over production questions if it's product questions uh i since i'm doing all the videos i can answer both of those for you or get those answers and we can look them up even do sometimes look them up while we're on live so we can get those answers for you so if you have anything like that definitely check those out and we can help you out with that i think you'll enjoy that too so don't forget about that also if you want to connect with me uh there's my link tree account you can connect find all different places you can find me on social media as well and i uh, love connecting with the community and uh feel free to do that and a lot of people will ask me questions on my social media accounts uh, as well if they want any questions so again thanks for watching this video hope you did enjoy it and we're working our way through the bronco so come on back for the next video as we continue this going through this series of complete guides for the 2023 ford bronco till the next video we'll see you later Thank you.